If you're a gardener like me, and you like to plant perennials and annuals in your garden, and you want to feed the pollinators, think about what you can plant to feed the pollinators that will bloom late summer and into fall. That is so important for our pollinators this time of year. I live in zone 7B 8A. They recently modified us from 7B 8A. And I love to plant mostly perennials in my garden. I do have some annuals and I live in Atlanta, Georgia. So I try to plant mostly perennials that can withstand that late summer, all day sun, heat, that'll take me into fall. But here you can see a list that I just Googled, you know, what are uh, fall blooming uh, perennials that will feed the pollinators. This time of year, there's hardly anything blooming. Most people think about uh, planting annuals and by the time we get into the cooler nights or the days have been really long and hot and a lot of the things that they have planted for spring and summer have kind of petered out. Um, we don't have anything really feeding our pollinators. So think about things that you can plant that will continually feed those pollinators through those hot, hot late summer days and into fall. Uh, some things that I have in my gardens, which I love that are blooming right now, are the asters, the cone flowers. I actually plant some goldenrod. Goldenrod is a huge source of nectar and pollen for honeybees in my area and in a lot of areas right now. Borage is a great little perennial to have in your garden. Bee balm, zinnias, uh, lantana is considered an annual, but in a lot of areas uh, where I am, it'll come back now uh, as a perennial. And I see pollinators all over my lantana right now. Sunflowers, you can plant those late in the season and those will feed pollinators. Um, some hardy geraniums, things like that. So when everything else is kind of dried out, think about those things that will be providing some, some pollen and some nectar. And also trees. If you have space to be planting some new trees, Google what trees are late blooming. We plant trees, we think about trees that are gonna be blooming and providing these gorgeous flowers for spring. Um, but we need to be also thinking about how can we feed those pollinators late summer into fall because that's also important. So think about that as a gardener and maybe as a beekeeper. And that's the buzz.